If you want to earn an additional credential from ARRT, one way is to use our post-primary eligibility pathway. It's a great opportunity to gain new professional skills and enhance your career. Depending on your interests and current credentials, you can choose from a variety of disciplines. To earn your new credential, you'll need to meet a range of requirements. By doing so, you'll prove that you have knowledge and skills to provide high-quality patient care in your new discipline. You need to have a credential in the appropriate supporting discipline before you can pursue another credential using the post-primary eligibility pathway. For example, if you'd like to pursue a credential in computed tomography, you need to first have a credential in radiography, nuclear medicine technology, or radiation therapy. In most cases, you'll earn your supporting credential from ARRT. Sometimes, though, you can earn your supporting credential through another organization. For a complete list of supporting categories for all disciplines, visit ARRT.org forward slash supporting category. If you already have one or more credentials with ARRT, you'll be familiar with our ethics requirement. It states in part that you must follow the rules outlined in our Standards of Ethics document. The document highlights the types of behavior we expect of RTs. It also describes the types of behavior we won't tolerate. You must meet our ethics requirements while you're a candidate and after you become certified and registered. When using the post-primary eligibility pathway to earn a new credential, you'll need to complete 16 hours of structured education activities. You'll choose from a range of relevant activities to meet the requirement including approved academic courses or continuing education activities. Another requirement is to perform and record specific clinical procedures related to the discipline. You'll need a verifier to confirm each procedure you complete. The verifier is often your supervisor, a doctor, or another appropriate staff member who is also an RT. When you've completed and logged all your procedures, we'll ask your supervisor to review each record and submit a final verification that you've completed all the procedures. Your final requirement will be to pass an ARRT exam. Before you take your exam, however, you'll need to complete an application and schedule your appointment. When you're ready, visit our online tool to get started. After we process your application, we'll send you a candidate status report through your online account. It'll tell you how to schedule your exam at a Pearson View Test Center. After you've set your exam appointment, it's a good idea to review ARRT's content specifications for your discipline. This document shows topics and the number of questions to expect on your exam. If this is your first ARRT exam, or if you need a refresher on what to expect, check out our exam day video, www.ARRT.org forward slash videos. If you don't pass the exam on your first attempt, don't get discouraged. You have a total of three attempts within three years. Check the post-primary handbook on our website for more details. As you work towards earning your new credential, pay attention to your deadlines. There are several steps for your educational activities, clinical procedures, and application that must be completed within the same 24-month timeframe by you, your verifiers, your supervisor, and ARRT. You worked hard, passed the exam, and now hold ARRT certification and registration in more than one discipline. Congratulations! There's a few things you want to keep in mind now that you have more than one ARRT credential. You'll only have one biennium regardless of how many ARRT credentials you have. This two-year period doesn't change. In most cases, your CE requirement won't change if you have multiple credentials. For example, if you earn a credential in radiography, you'll need 24 credits of CE. If you then earn an additional credential in computed tomography, you'll still only need 24 total CE credits each biennium. The only exception is if you earn an RRA credential, then you'll have to complete 50 credits each biennium instead of 24. Finally, your new credential will be subject to ARRT's 10-Year Continuing Qualifications Requirements, or CQR for short even if your other credentials aren't. Visit the video library on our website if you need more information about CQR. When you're ready to get started on your new credential, log in to your online account, 
select Pursue Post-Primary from the drop-down menu under the Complete Business tab. You'll now be in our online post-primary tool. Look for the tabs along the top to guide you through each portion of the process. As you begin, know that you can start working on your structured education and clinical experience requirements at the same time. As you pursue a new ARRT credential, we're here to help each step of the way. If you have questions, give us a call at 651-687-0048. Our agents are available 8 a.m. through 4.30 p.m. Central Time, Monday through Friday.